Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Undertale. When we last left off, I, uh... We, we, we dealt with a spider and had a chat with Sans and figured out that Sans knows Toriel. Or either that or there is a froggit in the ruins who sounds like an old lady. Um, we are here at the MTT Hotel and Resort. Before we go further in there, I'm gonna check out the alley store. Well, I did... Uh, nothing there. I checked it out before, but and some of the stuff in here is pretty expensive. Oh hey, it's the date sound, uh, the date soundtrack. Hey, check it out, yeah, check it out. So like, what's up? I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Uh, what, what, what have you got to sell? Junk food has a big bite out of it. An empty gun. Hmm. Cowboy hat increases your attack when it's worn. Cool. And a mystery key? Probably to someone's house, lol. I will buy a mystery key. And Braddy, we're gonna be rich! Oh, 666 gold! Um, tell me about your wares. The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But like, this stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap! You should like, totally wicked buy all of it? Well, where'd you get it from? I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food? We found it in the garbage! It's good garbage! It's like really good garbage! Origin of the garbage. Where did we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. <laughs> Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, so what do you guys think about Metaton? Oh my god, Metaton! He's like my robot husband. He's actually like my robot husband. I think we're like both going to marry him. We're both like already married to him. He's just like doesn't know yet. Well, where did he come from? Alphas made him, but like... Okay. That's like what they tell you. But like, Metaton always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever! Old? Oh. Oh god. Not Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like our big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump, she showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. What's it like being the royal scientist? So Alphys has always like thought Asgore is a super cutie. So like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to like totally impress him. A robot with a soul? That's like super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. But nobody's like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like us. Well, it, what can you tell me about Asgore? Cause I'm going to be meeting him very soon. Oh my god, he's a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's like so nice. God, we're like so hyped for the destruction of humanity. Oh. Okay. I'll catch y'all later. Like, see you later. <sighs> Jeez. I wonder what this key goes to. It's too bent to fit on your keychain. Oh, that makes so much sense. I'm gonna leave it in dimensional box B. Yeah, I used some crab apples to heal myself while I was farming for some gold. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Oh, sweet. As a slime, I'm outraged. What is this creature? This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it's stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. What do we have here? Oh, the food core. Whew. Oh, it's this guy! Home of the Glamburger. Sparkle up your day, trademark. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Um. Hmm. I will buy. Don't ask, please. Jeez, this stuff is so expensive. I'll just grab some glam burgers. Very popular. <laughs> Thanks. Have a fabulous day. Whoa. That doesn't, that doesn't even make any sense. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. I'm sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. Oh, wow. Now give me some life advice. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old, and I've already wasted my entire life. <laughs> I have got some news for you. You have 40 years to fix things. Quite a lot of time, so I am told. How about some romantic advice? Listen, I like you, little buddy. So I'm gonna save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them, they're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them, sneak them some glam burgers. And I, naive teenager that I was, said yes. Bad idea. <laughs> what? What is this section of forehead? It's just only this much face. Anyway, tell me about the glam burger story, will you? So I went out to the alley to see the, those two ladies, and uh, you know, see what had happened next. Then my boss uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. Oh, Burger Pants. Well, you gotta own it, man. Like, you did something really silly. I bet, I bet if you were like, oh, jeez. Like, I'm on burger pants now. I, I bet they still really appreciated the effort that you put in to try to sneak them out some food that isn't made out of garbage. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Well, why is Metaton bad? God, have you ever even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it on the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why else is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time, I bought one of those, uh, kits online to, uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. I don't know, your head's kind of rectangular, sometimes. What's going on in your future? Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Asgore gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to the surface. It'll be brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me. For everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. Oh, thanks. Anytime, little buddy. I wonder what Braddy and Caddy have to say about uh, Burger Pants. <laughs> Tell me about Burger Pants. Oh, that guy from the store? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep. He's kind of cute, too. Come on, Caddy, don't you have any standards? Nope! Tell me more about Burger Pants. Okay, like... The annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird, and then acts like it's our fault he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we could even say anything. We were like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy. Like later and stuff. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, it's incredibly embarrassing, but the worst thing you can do is run away from your problems in that scenario. Anything else from Burger Pants? Yeah, what's up with Braddy and Caddy? The girls were talking about me? They say I should stop acting like they owe me. And if I want to be friends with them, I should just, uh, try to see things from their perspective? 
Wow. Poor naive little buddy. They've brainwashed you. Friendship is just a hot person's way of making you their slave. So, uh, what time would they want to hang out? Oh, burger pants. You're 19 and stupid. It's okay. We were all 19 and stupid once. I mean, it's not okay. Stop being 19. Or stop being stupid. Whichever you prefer. Okay. Dark shadowy figures. Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh, well, we can't worry about that now. I think this is the perfect time to worry about that, quite frankly, but... What it, whatever you say, Alphys. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. You got it. Ooh, I like this core music. What? The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Okay. Alright, now just keep heading up. There's, I can't. There's nothing there. That pit isn't on my map. Oh, forget it. Let's just try the left side. Hmm. I wonder why there's fire here. Or is that just like the core's inner workings below? It's just dim pin pinpricks of flame and light below. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. Hello, shadowy figures. Watch out! Oh, jeez. Mad jick. Oh. Hmm. Attack 8, negative 1 defense. This magical mercenary only says magic words. Abracadabra. Oh, wow. This is a really interesting enemy. That's a mysterious jig. Um... Hmm, I can stare at his orbs. The unrelenting chaser orb was weakened by your glare. Hocus Pocus! Oh wow. Oh, oh, <laughs> what an attack. Arcane swear words. No, there's no need for that language. Intimidating corner orb was weakened by your glare. Oh, crap. These orbs are incapacitated. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Oh god, my controls have been reversed. What if I clear my mind? I think of pollen and sunshine. My confusion abates. My defense increased by two. Nice. Well, I guess all I can do is disable his orbs and... Whoa, that was a mean trick. Disable his orbs and continue on. That was close! Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just gotta keep heading forward. You don't seem so assured. Oh hey, it's the angel sign. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got, got it? Move until the third one. Oh god! Ack! It was exactly the opposite, Alphys. You were wrong. Oh my god, are you hurt? I... I'm so sorry. I, I gave you the wrong order. Yeah, well, everything's going to be fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. Alrighty, Alphys. A crossroads? Uh... Um... Try heading to the right. All right. Wait, no. I, I think you should head up. Okay. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Ooh. Night, night. Attack eight, defense two. This megaton mercenary wields the Good Morning Star. Clever. Close your eyes. Whoa. Ow. You asked Night Night about her day, there's no response. Uh oh. A dude. Oh. Sweet meteor storm. Uh, sing? Starts to look sleepy. Ah. Farewell. Yeep. Yeah, uh, Night Night. 
the pronouns used to refer to Night Night uh, swap between female and gender neutral. I'm not exactly sure why. Ooh. Ooh. Night Night falls asleep. Farewell, Night Night. Sorry, I, I, I thought that. Let's try the right path instead. What, what does this room serve? Then again, I mean, they can change the layout at will, so I guess it doesn't need to serve any purpose. More lasers. Okay, I, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. Uh, they're, they're not turning off. I, I can't turn them off. I, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for that whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. Oh god, that looks like a pain in the butt. Wait, stop! This is the power. It's turning itself back on. Damn it, this isn't supposed to happen. I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You, you won't get hurt. Duh. Oh crap. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so bad. Or I'm so good. S see? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. You don't seem so... Uh, what's the word? Confident? Uh, okay, you should... You should... I don't know. This doesn't look at all like my map. I'm sorry. I... I... I have to go. Click. Alright. The air is filled with the smell of ozone. It fills you with determination. And on that note, I think we'll end this episode of Let's Play Undertale. Next time, we head deeper and deeper into the core. Figure out what the heck is going on. Good night, everyone.